What is going on Diablo 2 fans, Dabrunski here. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full complete breakdown of the brand new Act 5 Frenzy Mercenary. So apparently this merc can actually solo Ubers, which I haven't tested yet. I will do a follow-up video, but I'm going to basically cover every single type of damage combination that you can set up with this mercenary. So Grief Grief, Grief Last Wish, Grief Lawbringer, Grief Eth Head Striker, and then Dual Eth Head Striker setups. I'm gonna cover three important key things that you need to know about these mercenaries. And I will do, like I said, a complete damage comparison to an Insight Act 2 Mercenary, Affinity Act 2 Mercenary, and a Reaper's Toll Act 2 Mercenary setup. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and you do find it informative. We'll have timestamps in the description below, so if you guys want to navigate between certain segments, they're there for you guys to use, so please take advantage of them. And also a quick reminder before we jump in, just want to let you guys know that if you do enjoy this YouTube content, any follows on Twitch would be very much appreciated. Got the link for my Twitch channel in the description below. That being said, guys... Let's jump in. So there's definitely three key important factors that you need to know about these new Act 5 Frenzy mercenary setups. I do want to post a little bit of disclaimer here that this may potentially change like we are in the second version of PTR so it might be updated but as it currently stands these mercenaries cannot use two-handed weapons so you're just restricted to your one-handed weapons. That's why I think probably the best handful of target choices to shoot for is like Reef, F Head Striker, Last Wish, Lawbringer, they're just going to be the best. You can't use like a two-handed death. I have one somewhere here in my stash, right here. So this you could use on the previous Bash Mercenary, but you can't use it now. That's the first key important factor. The second is that these Mercenaries, they don't actually stack additional auras if you're dual wielding weapons. So let's just take a look quickly at the Tesladin, for example, using Dream and a Helmet and Dream and a Paladin Shield. You'll get two level 15 holy shock auras which will stack and combine to make a level 30 aura that's kind of the whole premise behind the tesladin setups and the Oridin setups that does not apply to this mercenary so if you were to dual wield let's say last wish like you wanted to get level 17 might aura times two it doesn't actually work that way currently with the way the game is set up i don't know if that change is intentional or it will be adjusted later but in its current state, you can only rock one last wish. Now, if you're thinking of like pure damage output, two of these might auras, like level 17 might aura times two, that's less than a pride mercenary setup with act two might aura. So that's just something to keep in mind. It is different in the sense that like your mercenary will proc fade and you will get life tap going off constantly, but you're not going to get those dual auras. And the third thing that I do want to mention is that Let's say you wanted to rock a dual plague setup because you really want to proc lower resistance as frequently as you can for like poison Javazon. It's not going to go off very often because this mercenary has iron skin. So with fortitude, he's at 20,000 defense. Then if I actually buff him up with shout, it'll be like astronomically high defense and he'll rarely get hit. Plague's lower resistance is procced when your mercenary is hit. So that's just something to take into consideration. You can use like, this is Chains of Honor, for example. That, that will drop his defense down a little bit more. So it will go off a little bit more frequently. But then again, if you're like wielding this with a barb and you're doing shout and battle command, he just has ridiculously high defense. Now that's not, that I'm not like saying that's a bad thing because it is actually a good thing. It's just, if you're trying to rely on those rocks, and he's got 30,000 defense. He's very rarely going to be hit. 8,000 defense here. I have an 18% chance of being hit by Fallen. So you can just imagine with 30,000. That's just the last thing that I wanted to point out. That you should be aware of if you're trying to use an Act 5 Mercenary as like a rock stick for low resistance on lag. But that's, yeah, that's everything I wanted to cover. So now we'll jump into some of these damage tests. And I'll go over the criteria. But essentially I'm going to be doing Players 8. And then comparing the different combinations on the act 5 mercenary i will post edit and add time so you guys can compare the clear speed the players eight all the mercenary setups will have cannot be frozen and then i'll reset the map if there's like a holy freeze aura because that's just going to ridiculously slow down the clear speed and it will reset the map if there's like another boss pack that's right there i only want to focus on eldritch players eight clear speed and then again i'll post edit the time so you can pair between all the different combos and then your standard Act 2 Mercenary setup. So for the first test, I'm going to rock dual F upped Head Strikers. And they both have 15 IS 40 Enhanced Damage Duels. And I'm going to keep, for consistency, the same Body Armor and Helmet for every run. So Chammed Area Space for Cannot Be Frozen. And then Fortitude. Like I mentioned, I will reset it if it's like Holy Freeze or Stone Skin. That's 
really important, I think, is because if you don't have stone skin in one run, stone skin on other, it's going to kind of mess up the test. But the same battle orders and battle command for every run as well. And again, the second I tally stomp, I will start the timer. Okay, that's good. Not stone skin. So this would arguably be like a pure DPS setup, although I'm kind of curious. I think that F Headstriker and like Lawbringer for Decrep Proc might actually be a little bit better. Okay, that was a pretty solid Players 8 Eldritch, so let's move on. So for test number 2, I'm going to rock an Ethereal F Headstriker with Lawbringer, so we'll see if that Decrep Proc, whether or not it kind of outweighs the DPS of two F Headstrikers. My gut says no. A couple of ranged archers, that's not a big deal, they're not going to slow anything down. And then, no stone skin, so we're okay. First, second proc. So this is, yeah, significantly, significantly slower, like... Now you, you do get the added benefit if you were to rock this with a melee character. The Decrep Rock would help you. And the Sanctuary Aura does help scatter back the undead, so you can see here, like, the Burning Archers are being knocked back. And this is Players 8, so... Players 1, obviously, like, he would be going through things pretty quickly, but this is obviously... A much slower setup for sure. And the timer ends. So yeah, I was not too impressed with that. So you do get like the support aura, but for pure DPS, I don't think it was that good. So for this combination, I'm gonna rock dual grief. Now I think that two low runes and rolling two griefs is a lot easier to obtain than dual F head strikers and then putting 15 IS for enhanced damage jewels. Like that's very key to note. Okay, so he has no frenzy aura buffed up. Okay. I'll post it at the time. Okay, mana burn, but no stone skin to worry about. So yeah, like I said, I'll post that at times, but. Pretty sure this is going to be very close to dual F head striker. And again, players eight. Like it's pretty solid. Mercenary is doing solo players eight. Last couple guys. Okay, not bad. Now we'll start doing some of the combinations of like Grief and Last Wish and Grief and Lawbringer before we jump to Act 2 setups. So this is the very expensive option. Going to be rocking Grief and Last Wish. So Jaw Mal, Jaw Sewer, Jaw Burr. If you have wealth to burn and you want to throw a Might Aura on your Mercenary, we'll see how effective this combination is. Super expensive, but super cool that you can kind of have that combination of Grief and Last Wish now. Where prior to this patch, the only way to get Last Wish on Act 5 Mercenary is to use like F Colossus Blade and then roll Last Wish. So this is interesting. Again, we'll see. Post at the times. Okay, perfect. There's no stone skin, that's the big thing. One thing I didn't think about either is going frenzy with Last Wish. He does get that hit blinds target. Constant life tap procs, so I'll probably rock this setup when I do the Uber Tristram comparison. 4,000 life, 42,000 defense. He'll proc fade eventually with Last Wish. Life tap procs, I could definitely see how this setup could survive Uber Tristram. Okay, now the final test, we will do Grief and Lawbringer. So like I mentioned, the final test, Grief and Lawbringer combination. So I have a 20% chance to cast level 15 to craft from striking. I was a little bit surprised at how poorly the Eth Headstriker Lawbringer combo worked. 
So I'm not expecting anything different here. So there's a couple demon imps. I'm hoping they stay back enough. It shouldn't affect the test too much. But he's not stone skin, so... Yeah, those demons are just hanging back doing their own thing. And again, like the... I know that this test is like a vacuum test. You're not showcasing the benefit of Sanctuary Aura would be a ton of crowd control in Chaos Sanctuary. The Decrep Rock is boosting your physical damage. But I think that you might want to either go up here DPS setup, so dual grief, or you might want to go a stat stick combination like Lawbringer and Last Wish, as opposed to like these kind of like hybrid combo setups. Like if you wanted to do damage and Decrep Rock, you're probably better off just going with Reaper's Toll. Final two guys here. Okay, so now we'll move on to the Act 2 Mercenary and we'll actually see how the new Frenzy Barb actually stacks up. So for the first Act 2 Mercenary setup, I'm going to go with the standard Meta Insight Mercenary. I'm going to use, again, similar to the Act 5 Mercenary, the same body armor and helmet. The reason I'm not using like G-Face or Dario's Visage is they only have one chammed helmet so at least this way it takes out any inconsistencies if the mercenary slowed down and it takes a while for that might order to kick in so i really hope i don't get stone skin the first test but again players eight similar to the other tests okay perfect so magic resistant cursed slingers but they'll stay back not a big deal players eight although i am taking a lot of damage I chew through all my rejuves with this test. The mercenary is doing pretty good. I'd say, again, I'll post that at the times, but it seems like it's probably on par with the dual grief setup, which is really cool. So if you want that DPS. Again, it's a bit of a vacuum test because you can't really test like the benefit of having the might aura on your melee character and how that benefits you. There we go. That was a pretty solid player's eight run. So now we'll switch to infinity. So for the infinity test, there's obviously going to be some extra crushing blow that's into the equation. It's hard to completely like adjust for that because you could use different helmets to have consistent crushing blow, but then Act 5 Mercenary with Last Wish has up to 70% crushing blow. So it's really hard to like take that into consideration but yeah we'll see if the conviction aura him being able to hit monsters better if the crushing blow actually makes a big difference no stone skin demon gremlins but that shouldn't make too much of a difference there's just three of them It'd be really interesting like I'm gonna post edit all these timers so to kind of compare everything seems like pretty solid clear speed though it's really surprising because it seems like my guts telling me it's very very close to like the frenzy mark so the vacuum DPS test act 5 mercenary is actually pretty pretty good Final Eldritch kill. Okay. So the final test will be Reaper's Toll, which if my gut tells me that one is going to be the best out of all of the different combo setups. So for the Reaper's Toll test, I kind of went back and forth on whether or not I was going to use Treachery and G-Face and then Ruby Jewel Fervor and the F-Toll. But then I'm not using the same consistent body armor, so it's hard to do a perfect test, but this is F Reaper's Toll with the Ruby Jewel Fervor with the same Fortitude and V-Gaze. Definitely think this is going to be the fastest test. So it's that combination of really good damage and decrep aura. But no stone skin, so that's perfect. Go Durga, go!
Okay, tests are complete. So I'm gonna be entirely honest, the results were very surprising. I did not expect a dual F head striker Wallbringer setup to be the fastest time on this board. And I do want to point out one big disclaimer here because I know people are going to sound off in the comment section below. So I'm going to reference this in the pinned comment. So please be watching this before you sound off in the comments that this is absolutely a vacuum test. It doesn't take into consideration other factors like how support auras benefit your character if you're melee. It doesn't take into account things like infinity with an elemental damage setup, how that's going to improve your clear speed. It also doesn't take into account every single possible different combination. So it didn't rock like G-Phase Treachery and Reaper's Toll because that would have faster hits for more damage. And I could have maybe used G-Phase on the dual F head striker setup for a little bit more DPS. I know it's a vacuum test, but I was very surprised with the results. And I think that you can argue some scenarios you might actually benefit from something like Grief and Lawbringer on an Act 5 Frenzy Mercenary setup for a melee character. So I think that's very interesting. I'm really happy with the fact that we now have some different, more viable alternative choices. With that being said, I still think Act 2 comes out on top a little bit just because of some of the rumors with certain, like, full arm bases. They just seem to benefit those mercenaries more. But that being said, and I have referenced this before, but I think if they ever add more bases to different room words, like East, for example, I'm pretty sure that sort of an F head striker beast sword combination would probably just wreck shit. There's a lot of other things to test. Like you could use an ethereal oath base if you could roll beast. That with F head striker would probably mow down stuff or maybe last wish beast combos for stat sticks. But I think the only thing they need to work on addressing now is I really do honestly think they could triple the damage on Act 3 Mercenaries and that would sort of make them viable because I don't see why with the best possible gear why you can only get a 3k lightning like I think the best possible gear you should have like a 12 13k lightning and for the Act 1 Rogues I think they're in a pretty good place if they change the mechanics so that they only shot freezing arrows or only shot immolation arrows because I just think that switching to a regular shot or switching to a cold arrow really kind of takes them out at the knees it just makes them not as capable as what they could be. Like if you were constantly spamming Freezing Arrow, I would love to rock an inside bow setup with some, I don't know, Nightwing's helmet maybe, and then Treachery. So attacking quickly, spamming Freezing Arrow is good crowd control. So kind of the gist of this is I'm surprised by the results. I think that Act 5 Mercenaries that are Frenzy setups now have a place in the game. They're competitive with Act 2 Mercenaries, and I think they're very close. And with a couple extra additional changes, you could see the Act three and act one mercenaries be on par as well so overall i'm pretty happy again guys just let me know in the comment section below if you guys like the test you disagree with the test you acknowledge the vacuum test but you would change anything you guys are going to rock an act act five mercenary excuse me anything just let me know in the comment section below and if you did enjoy this video if you throw a like on it that'd be awesome i'll catch you guys on my next video or live stream peace out